Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not hard to figure out where things didn't go our way. Um, you know, we we did not do a good job stopping 88. You know, he had we lose by 12 and he give up two punt returns. A um, couple turnovers. You know, the last one I don't worry about, and but there were a couple that that hurt us. But I mean, those ones are hard to overcome. You have to play really well to overcome 14 points on special teams. You know, and so uh, frustrating. I thought we fought back in the second half to get back in it. Uh, you know, we lost our eyes a couple times on defense, you know, so they got a couple plays where we, they blocked with a tight end for a little bit and then he slipped, you know, so we got to be better with our eye discipline. But, um, but they fought. I thought, I thought offensively, I think we could have been better. I mean, 30 points. We jumped off sides on a fourth and one, so I ended up having to kick a field goal. Um, but we bounced back and got us, got us back in it with a score late, which was good. And then, um, you know, defense, you know, other than a couple big plays, you know, 14 of those 42 points are, are on special teams, so we have to be we have to be better. We had a good plan. Uh, we didn't execute the plan. The plan was not to kick it right down the middle to them. But uh, uh, when you do, that's what happens. You know, we knew that we faced them before, and uh, and then we had to overcome that. And we didn't play well enough to overcome that. So uh, rough day, obviously, because you look at the numbers. There's a lot of good things that happen out there when we're executing. You know, and then a couple of big plays that get you. And uh, and when you're in a close game. That, that'll that'll sneak up and bite you. So it's frustrating. Feel bad for those guys in there, and, uh, and now we got to regroup and get ready for for next week. Next week, next week senior night for us. So it's a big night for for those those guys that are going to play their last game here in Waldo. Can you talk about the uh, play design on the uh, late second quarter punt uh, that Pimpleton took to the house? Um, you said you didn't mean to kick it to him. You're supposed you know. to kick it. Uh, yes, on the, uh, out of bounds. Kick it right on the sideline. Because if you tell them to kick it out of bounds, they kick 12-yard punts. So you kick it, you tell them to land it right between the numbers and the sideline. And it was kicked. It was in 40 yards, 40-second hang time, outside the numbers. That's the design of it. Not, we, He got a hold of it. I mean, it was like a 50-yard punt right down the middle, you know, which uh, then we just have to recover at that point. You know, I, did, I thought the first punt was really good. He got it, skied it. You know, you got to have to have four-second hand time. You know, we did it last year with him. Uh, 40 yard punt, 44 four second hang time, and we, he should be surrounded by people, and it should be on the sideline. And if he comes off your foot a little bit and you get a short one here and there, not a big deal. Uh, just can't put it down the middle, and we did that twice, and and we got what what comes with that, you know. Um, your team pretty much dominated the first 25 minutes of that first half. Yep. Uh, what was the message at halftime? Well, we had, I mean, we were down at that point. You know, just had to get back in it. You know, I thought I thought early on in the third quarter was going to be big. You know, and we and we battled back and started scoring again. And we made a couple changes RPO wise just to make Caleb a little bit more comfortable. And I thought he reacted fairly well to that. You know, I think the biggest frustration for me on that drive was the first time we got down there, we got into fourth and one, and we jumped off sides. Well, we flinched. You know, and we ended up having to kick a field goal. You know, which was really frustrating. And because um, I thought I wanted, I mean, we we scored on the next drive and on the the next drive after that. But it would have been it would have been. Seven would have been better than three there, you know, and it was, it, we, we ended up being fourth and uh, we were right on the edge of whether I could go for it or not, you know, just outside the box, what we call the box. So, uh, but yeah, I thought we came, we came out, I thought pretty good in the second half and I, we, we were battling back and then we, we, that's where we really lost our eyes. They had some big plays in the second half, you know, and, and, uh, and then we couldn't get off the field because we were, we were really controlling the ball in the first half like we wanted to. We weren't. We didn't finish as many drives as I was as I would like to. Um, fumbled the one time, you know, on third down. We had we had the guy coming. He was trying to buy time to get to the drive, which was open, and he got hit and dropped the ball. You know, because that would have been points too if we don't turn that over after the onside kick, which I thought was executed fairly well. We were in a very unique situation kicking off from the 35. Um, but yeah, I, I you know the message was. Score zero zero, you know, it was kind of like, hey, this is Maxion. This is gonna be a close game. Central Western, we're gonna have to play four four quarters, you know. And even at the end, we we're hoping to get a stop with five minutes left. And with twelve, we've done that before, you know. And uh, they had a couple, couple long runs where we were trying to get the ball out, you know. I think we probably should try to just get them down so we, they they punt instead of trying to rip the ball out. But you're you're looking for a play there, and uh, and we we couldn't get them off there at the end. Uh, you leaned heavily on the short passing game early. Um, you know, pretty effective with yep. that. Um, was there something that uh, in Central to Michigan's defense that you saw, um, or was it something about your offensive line that maybe uh, had you lean on those short passes a little more? No, we just uh, we we knew that we didn't we, we couldn't get super calculated with the the you know intermediate throws until we knew what they were doing. You know what I mean? And 
And so we've done that a lot of games in the first couple drives, you know, just to kind of get a feel for what they're doing because you don't want to you don't want to waste, you know, some of your really good looks uh, until you know how they're trying to stop you, you know. And uh, and I thought we did. I mean, we ran for 170 yards. I think we could have ran for more, you know, because um, I thought the run game was going pretty good. Um, you know, penalties. You can't have penalties. I and mean, we were nine of 18 on third down, which I would not have guessed that. Uh, but the penalties, we got we had the one drive going, and we get a holding penalty, and we're in second and long. And um, so, you know, we, we seem to shoot ourselves in, in the foot. We had another fourth down that we we botched a snap on a quarterback sneak. Um, you know, and you can't do those things in a close game, and we did. Can you talk about the strategy for defending Pimpleton in the passing game? Uh, it seemed like AJ Thomas kind of drew that assignment. Uh, yeah, you often. take your best on their best, right? And I mean, there were a couple times if they got in the perfect formation, it might have been somebody else. But very rarely, you know, it was like try to keep a guy on top of him at all times because he's a super dynamic player, you know. And uh, and he did. He got a couple. He got a cross country route uh, once on him, uh, maybe twice. Um, but I mean, he really killed. I mean, his, the punt returns is really where he. He really hurt us, you know, and so, uh, but yeah, you, you on a guy like that, you got to put a guy like AJ on him for the most part, and and we we kind of shuffled some things around to make sure that happened, and and uh, you know, they I don't think the defense played bad by any means. I mean, a couple big plays that we need to be better at, but uh, they got after the quarterback. I don't know how many sacks we had, but it seemed like we we're in the backfield a lot early on, and and in the red zone where we we're, you know, held them to four or seven, you know. I mean, we did some good things, you know, but just the big plays. Uh, really hurt us. Caleb never seemed to really get too comfortable in the pocket tonight. Can you talk about the way the offensive line protected him? Yeah, they, they did. You know, we we max pro a little bit at the end, you know. Um, once we got down, we had to push the ball down the field. He threw a great post, and then he threw a great bender, a great read. He read the coverage beautifully uh, on Corey Crooms' touchdown. And uh, we, we started to open up some of the intermediate passing game once we really, we really got aggressive with him, you know. And um, we couldn't really rely on our run game once you're down that much with that little time left. You know, we still ran it a little bit, but um, you know, and, and there were, when they gave him time, he really, you know, you know, did a really good job of finding finding the open guys. Checked down, I thought, really good early on, uh, but we got beat. We got beat. I know twice um, by thir thirteen. Harrison, he's a good player, you know, and we chipped him a couple times, which helped. Uh, once we started chipping him, I thought we got better. You know, we weren't sure if we needed to chip him after he got in the backfield twice. We knew we needed to chip him, you know, so uh, that really helped. And, and and really, I felt late as the game went on, other than at the end, when they know when they know it's coming, you know, uh, I thought there was a time there from the middle of the third through the middle of the fourth where they gave him some time. And that's when we were moving the ball and scoring. Uh, Corey Crooms had a big game tonight. Was that something that was kind of in design, or was that just what the defense was giving you? Yeah, we knew he was gonna, you know, just because of the way they play. You know, last year uh, we didn't have Sky in this game, so we put in a, a new personnel to put D there, you know, and D had a huge game last year uh, in the slot. So uh, they, we knew they were, we felt that they were gonna put two guys on Sky, and the moment we knew they did that, it was gonna be, I thought, Crooms. And I thought Jalen were going to have some really good opportunities, you know. And uh, Jalen had the one that he almost stepped out of the tackle and would have gotten in the open. We got him on the post. Um, but we really felt like those two, if they were going to keep two on top of Sky, would have a really good shot of having big games. And, and he did. You know, he did a good job. And um, they, they did a lot of running there at the end. I mean, they were all cramping up because we were, we were just running them down the field, down the field, down the field. And, uh, but I thought he's really coming into his own. You know, and he's he's still learning. I mean, this is the first year starting, and uh, he had a, obviously a great game against Pitt. Then struggled a little bit. You know, his route running, and he was a little bit fast for the next couple of games. Not really patient. It's kind of the the st standard learning curve. And I really felt like uh, he came out and had a good game. And uh, some of the adjustments we made at halftime were involving him. You know, get, we threw some bubbles to him. He dropped one, which hurt us a little bit on one drive, but. Um, but he got a big first down on one of the plays, and so you know it's fun. It's fun because he's just getting better and better. He's so explosive as an athlete, you know. And so having him, and having you know Jalen and Sky out there, you know, there's some, there's a lot, lot, lot to like when if I'm Caleb, you know. Then it seemed like uh, Jackson Kincaid was used a little bit more in the offense tonight than uh, typically. Is that something that you saw with the central defense, or is that just... no? I mean, he had. 
he had less carries than the other two. I mean, we really just we, – we, we want to rotate those three guys through. And, and really, we come in here at halftime right here, and we look at kind of how they're doing and who's, who's feeling it, you know. And he had one really big run, which was good. And, uh, you know, he averaged six yards a carry. Ladarius was five yards a carry. Sean was only four. Um, so as, as the game goes on and wears down, we normally try to ride the hot hand, you know, and that was um, – that's he was running really well in the first half, so he got more touches in the second. And uh, once once they got out to a two score lead, it doesn't matter quite as much, you know, because we're not gonna we're not gonna lean on the run. Um, but if we could have stayed, if we, we could have kept it a one score game, we would have kept running the ball more and uh, and probably would have featured him even more late in the game.